Hey, Luigi Noids. This is Luigi X Rules playing Hey, Pikmin. In the last episode, we took on 7-C over Wintry Mountains, which is a contender for one of the shortest levels so far. But it was stressful, so it might not feel very short. Then in this episode, we're going to be taking on Frozen Hazard, which we're using Red Pikmin for. I think this is the first time we're using Red Pikmin in this world, which is odd because, you know, Red Pikmin are most often the, like, common Pikmin. Looks like we got more slippery slopes to deal with. And now, we slidey, ah, sliding backwards. Could use my jetpack there, but I don't. Oh, hello there. I'm just gonna bounce you back. Oh, oh. And the Pikmin decided to not care. So you bounce him back for me. Cool, we got more of those guys. Oh, and more Pikmin over there. Are they stuck in the snow or playing in the snow? Interesting. I don't hear the plucking sound effect much. Hello, I'm here. Alright, so I can push this guy back like that. Got more froggies. Can we bounce off of this guy? Oh, haha, that's cool. Alright, let me go back down. Grab these Pikmin. Which you probably found out by, um, whistling those Pikmin. That is very clever. These tutorials are great, except for that one with that crab level. Wow. Oh, gosh. Goodbye. Have fun. Yep, and then they keep spawning. Alright, have fun. Goodbye. I wonder if there's gonna be a timing game with them later. We have to like bounce off of it while it's moving up. Oh, hello, there's stupid thingy. Hmm, there's gotta be something over here, right? I'll wait for one more to go by. I do have to wonder if there's anything. Oh, is it really just sparkly? I'm okay, then I don't care. Because we really don't need any sparkly, and there's literally no point. Hello there, fly thingy. Alright. Oh, wow, that, that was a hard pan. Hey, how come they don't get instantly killed by snowballs? That's not fair. I want to be not instantly killed by snowballs, too. Alright. Oh, we got more of these thingies. Kill them before they become a hassle. Oh, and they're going. For some reason. <laughs> Bouncing. Get out of here. Haha. <laughs> Take the momentum. But... Alright, bye. That looks like a restock area. Alright, then we have to use this guy to... Get up there. Oh. Hey, guys, come here. Uh oh. Get on high handle the situation. Um, one of my Pikmin got lost down there, I think, but that's none of my concern right now. I know, I have all of them. Alright, stay here. Alright, this is another timing game, I can see. Just gotta time it properly so that you bounce up to this deer snow globe thingy. Zoo of the future. I can totally see how you'd get that. Come here, guys. Alright, that's one treasure down. But this level's short enough, so I might even put it at the end of last episode. Or the other episode. Which would be odd to break the one episode a day other than the secret level trope, but... Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh, okay, so... Can't do anything else with them, so let's just go on. I don't think I'm gonna combine the two videos. Wow, this has such interesting music. Also, stupid enemies. As you can see, stupid enemies. They're way too easy to lose Pikmin to- Alright, that was fair. 
I completely knew that there was a pit right next to me. Cool. If there's any treasure that requires a bunch of Pikmin, I'm not going to be able to get it. Ah, oh, man. Alright, of all the unfair things in this game, that was the most unfair thing I've seen. Alright, where's the other Pikmin? Because I need some more Pikmin. Oh, there's some more. And that's Snowman. One of them's stuck. It's like, ow! Hi, um, this is awkward. I only have four Pikmin now. Oh good, there's some restock up ahead. Kind of, that's a boy guy. Alright, hello there, restock. Any more? Nope, okay. Well, it looks like there's the other treasure. Oh, okay. This must not do what I thought it did. Luckily, they gave me some restock Pikmin. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Okay, now we gotta use this guy to get up there somehow. Bounce up here. Uh, don't really see what the point of pulling that down is if we can just do this. Get over here. And now we have the spinny top. Haven't we already gotten a spinny top? Whatever. Unremarkable spinner. I swear it was called that too. Huh. Alright. Uh, I think we're supposed to go up. Yeah, we're supposed to go up. Okay. Um, come back here. Yeah, because now I pick an arc and make that. Hello there. I'm gonna just bounce off of you real quick. I guess I could take a heart. Why not? Hello, we just need to find the exit now. Bye. And you're stuck there now. Probably means we're close to the exit, right? Huh, cameras. Interesting. In this level, okay. Good, they don't crush. Oh, good. He almost ran into the enemy. Oh, dear. How dare they run run into the side of them? Alright, yeah. It looks like this is the end of the level. Um, uh, Nah, I'm not gonna put that at the end of the last episode. This level's been long enough. Could squeeze in the boss. I guess that depends on how long both the boss and the secret level take. Either way, that was not very fair how there was... Yeah, I was just supposed to know there was a pit there. By the way, that right press was completely accidental. I did not mean to press right there anyway. Got a blood bug. Gotta be related to that other guy, right? Um, let's see if we unlock anything before checking out the logs. I found some sparkling nearby. I bet you're wondering if there are any creatures along with it. Answer is yes. Best of luck, Captain Olimar. I'm sure I'll need it. We'll see if anything else opens up because of this. Ooh, cold-hearted guardian. Alright, looks like we got a blue Pikmin boss up ahead. So far, no Pik bosses have been um, dual type. Or like, re required multiple different types of Pikmin. Also, we got like, two bosses? Huh, okay. We got four bosses, but... Interesting. Blubbug. Voscaflexilis Bilia. What's the other one called? Puffy Blubbug, okay. Family Blother. Not only does its thick, rubbery layer of fat insulated from the ice and snow, it wards off any attacks. The, the only way to get at it is to attack its inner core. It has that in common with certain people I know. It's just impossible to get through, through to them past their thick, insulting layer of self-regard. You talking about your president? 
Because I believe it. Alright, and now we have... Zoo of the Future. This device is the future of zoos. The animal inside has been put into a suspended animation. Oh, observe this graceful creature. Caught mid-prance. As for the zoo, I think that 20 Pikmin would fit in their comfort of... Wait. No, you can't put Pikmin in a zoo? What is wrong with you, Olimar? Unremarkable spinner. My daughter jumping on the bed woke me up. My wife warmed up breakfast in the microwave. My son was... My son was glued to the TV when I walked by. A bully made a mess on my shoes. Pikmin, help! Oh, it was just a very realistic dream. Now, hang on. I know we've gotten something very similar to that. I just have to find it. Here it is. The unbelievable spinner, I think it was. Interesting. So this one is like a very strange dream. Whereas this one is a very realistic dream. <laughs> this one is more grounded towards reality. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it in for this episode. In the next episode, we will be taking on Cold Hearted Guardian and Ordeal of Flame. Hey, see you next time.